Well, let's get one more for the evening and see what we end up with. Mm, Reka no Hono, the game. Okay then. Sounds possibly like a shooter, I think? So yeah, the Hono oh part of it was um, triggering something in my memory. That would be it. Um, it is flame. That is the word for flame. So this is uh, Flame of Rekka. I was getting it confused with the NES game which has uh, Rekka in the title, which is a big ol' shmup, which is actually one of the most advanced shmups on the NES, but this has absolutely nothing to do with that. This is uh, based on the anime, of course, uh, and the uh, manga that goes with it, I do believe. Alright, so stories and battles. What do we got in the options? Handicap, rules, map select, initialize? Hmm, no idea. Let's just go into the story mode. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I am totally impartial since evidently I'm told this is a fighting game and uh, I'm probably going to be terrible no matter who I choose, so I will leave this up to the stream audience. Apparently, uh, Rekka has four somethings instead of everybody else having three somethings. I have no idea what the somethings might be. I do not recognize those kanji. Okay, so far we have one vote for the little guy and one vote for the big guy. One vote for Rekka. One vote for the white-haired guy. Oh, all, I, all I need is one vote for the girl and we'll have a five-way tie. <laughs> Timing. <laughs> we have one vote for the girl. And we have a second vote for the girl. We're going with the girl then. Didn't even check her name. Um, what was her name? That's different. I was kind of curious why the names are all in English. And clearly nothing else is. Okay, I guess the girl's name was Fuko. thing that's this is just hitting the A button it's, we can Hadouken spam by just hitting the A button that's kind of impressive actually hmm. okay holding down charges the meter good to know okay R is block L is um L is not actually anything that I can make out we don't seem to, um... Nope, Dugans are not using up that special meter. Trying the, you know, basic, um... You know, Street Fighter style quarter circle, half circle type stuff, but, um... Doesn't really seem to be doing anything, surprisingly. So, we seem to have what almost amounts to a one-button fighter. It's like we have the kick and just, I guess, doing different combo moves switches it up, but um, we have our kick and we have our Hadouken. Uh, 
Um, okay, so one is, I guess, continue on, and the other is uh, sort of an exit out. So, um... What is the meter actually for? Are there moves I can do? I can double jump, that's the thing. Is, uh, up is jump, and up twice is double jump. Uh, I was just told that A is long range attack, B is short range attack, and uh, yeah, that much I had figured out already. Oh, cool. Okay, so switching up the B and A attacks does different combos. That is also cool. Still quite curious what the uh, meter is for. Maybe as I block. Maybe it's a block meter. Also, if the um, character choice that was in the, um, well, you know, the initial character choice, if that's it, If that is the entirety of characters which will exist in this game, then, um... It's gonna be a really short game, actually. <laughs> and and I, I, I usually harp on a number of fighting games for just being, you know, button mash fest. And, you know, fighting game fans will defend them to the death that they aren't, but, um... This really is... Uh, th th this is, um... This is a button mashing fest. Carry on a bit faster. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Now I'm told that um, holding R and hitting certain directions and the B button will perform various special moves, but um, hmm. I got nothing. Also, well, just screwing around, I took out half his health. What does that say about this game? Seriously, this is just... Um, <laughs> this is kind of pathetic. I should not be doing this well. Uh, zip, 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 zip. Oh, what? What happened there? Yeah, of course, I forgot to save. Ahem. Thank you, Beld. Um, difficulty was not an option. I know you love to give your advice of things, but, um, yeah. <laughs> not always right about everything. that option that I sped past. Um, uh, 
Um, giving me player select. Um, what the crap? I'm confused. I know she has an extra thing on her selection screen, but that doesn't tell me what it means. That's why I chose a different character, so yeah. That's my assumption as well, that we need to beat it with the different characters. So I guess let's just, um, barrel our way through this fighting game. Seriously. <laughs> wow, it probably would make more sense if we could read it. Wouldn't make this game any harder, though. I'd still be able to do this. Now he's gonna block everything. That's a nice scream, I will give the game that. should be using other combos now that I'm thinking of it, since it does seem like they do a bit more damage. Through. Oh, hey, we are through. Eh, well, let's just carry on down the line, I suppose. And what do you think? Should we end with the big guy, or should we end with uh, the main character? Okay, are, are, are we gonna have a flawless victory? Wow. Freaking wow. <laughs> what the hell, game? I really do now wish that there were difficulty options, because, um, if the computer actually knew what they were doing, if they were able to put up a challenge, this seems like it would be a pretty okay fighting game. If you were playing another human who was, uh, as... not uh, as terrible as this, it would, um, also be pretty fun, I'm sure. But, um, this here? This is goddamn terrible.
<laughs> trade for trade, uh, toss for toss, throw for throw. Now it would make a little bit of sense if, um, after you completed a character's playthrough, that character was then tougher to beat in these, uh, single-player... or crap, single-player... in these, you know, single-match fights, but, um, that does not seem to be the case. Okay, and... We will end with Rekka. Is oh, okay. I see. Oh, he he gained a move. He's the first character we've had to gain a move, so I did something either well or correctly or something. Let's charge up and there we go. It's not exactly more powerful than anything else we can do, but uh, it sure is a move that exists. And it would make a lot of sense if you could combo the throw with a long-range attack, but um, not a thing that you can do, so... Looks like, in general, the BAA is actually the strongest combo. Could be wrong on that, but I'd have to bother with save states to really check it out entirely, so don't really care that much. Also, this music is, uh, really unfitting to this fight. Really sounds like some kind of... final bossy type thing, but it really isn't. Is that the music that has been playing for Rekka all these times? Not even certain, haven't been paying attention to that level, I'm just button mashing here. Okay, and yeah, that's everyone except for Rekka, who apparently has one more special move than everybody else does. Let's see if we unlock any of them. I still love that, uh, scream there from Domon. Okay, so... Oh, hello. We did unlock a move. Okay, let's see what it looks like and, uh, how much damage it does. Oh, looks pretty cool, but, um... 
still not as good as actually just, uh, button mash combos. This one is actually putting up, um, you know, a fight. So maybe it's matches we complete really quickly that we earn additional moves on. Maybe it's ones we beat perfect we earn moves on. Maybe there's no kind of, um... pattern whatsoever. Maybe it just happens at certain times. So what's this one? <laughs> well that was sure a thing, I suppose. I love how the computer does try to combo the throw and the long-range attack, even though it doesn't actually work with this game's mechanics. Okay, so, um... Last of these everybody fights everybody fights. After which point we will see what else the game has to offer. Now what happens? Do we fight this person, since, uh, they've been just sort of hovering around us this entire time? And, well, doesn't really matter, so let's go with the girl again. Huh? What's that? Hmm, what's this? Okay, that's that again. I guess we are going to Sodom. quite what that means, but now we are fighting ourselves! Okay. one at least knows how to use, um, attack combos a bit better than the other ones we've faced so far. Not amazingly well, but still. Okay, so that one actually can combo a throw with a long-range attack. It's just due to the speed of the attack afterwards. Okay, and now we have Ninja Man here. And now we have choices. And let's see, that's, um... Bionoid Dome, or... Uh, Palut... Uh, no, pa pa Palutenin... something. Let's see, what is... oh my! That's... a thing. <laughs> wow. That is sure a thing. What's the other way? Another person. Okay. Yeah, let's go fight the weird thing. Ready? 
Looks like it'll be a more interesting fight. Oh, I actually, uh... was not expecting to get thrown up like that. And the difficulty is finally increasing, it would seem. Save state. I guess I should say load state. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> there we go. Kanji things I don't recognize. Oh, what? Siguma. Okay. Okay, uh, are we fighting Raiha or Kihito or Sigma? We're, we're, we're having ROM total collapse glitch. So we're not going down that pathway. Let's see if we can fight this thing. It would seem we have reached the end of our Flame of Rekka adventures. So... Whatever remains down these remaining paths, whatever enemies there are to fight, we'll never know because terrible ROM glitchiness. So, um, this has been Flame of Rekka, the game. Uh, even for a Flame of Rekka fan, I don't think I would recommend this. As a fighting game, this has been astoundingly bad. And I just, um, I, I, I'm not a fighting game fan in general, and I can generally recognize, you know, like, what a good one is versus a bad one at the very least, and uh, yeah, I would really have to say that this one's been pretty terrible, so not recommended to anyone, and we're completely done here now, so yeah. 